Good morning, guys. It's Arcage101 with Jalan. And today we're going to be talking about titles again. This is updated for 5.0 during the Jake Song event. You can see Jake in the corner. I'm going to be talking about the Skywarden title and why you kind of want to worry about getting this one. Uh, this is going to help you chew through a lot of your title XP, help bump you up a title uh, buff level. And you have the chance to get this sexy mount with a base move speed of 16 meters per second, unless they normalize it for North America and Europe. Now, talk about uh, some stuff today. We're going to talk about the achievements you need to do. We're going to talk about those requirements for those achievements. I'm going to show you the bench and a couple of things in game uh, real quick. We're going to talk about rewards. And then I'm going to talk about the title XP part of the reward. So real quick, here are all the achievements you're going to have to do. You see a whole bunch of divine achievements in one legendary. Uh, and you're, you're thinking to yourself, it can't be that hard. Only came out a couple of days ago. Jay's already done with one of them. <laughs> I'm done with the really easy one. So here are all the ones you need to do. And then here is your requirements chart. Uh, what I did is I copied it in the order so you can go order to order. Now, um, a couple of things I wanna point out here is that there are some key achievements that are gonna give you clutch rewards. Uh, if you do Celestial Creature, which is the second one down, uh, you're gonna get 50 Mana Storm Crystals back. So it's kind of like if you really wanted the Frost Dragon or the Celestial Pegasus or the Typhoon Drake, you really want that mount to use, you could do that achievement, get 50 crystals back, and uh, then work on another one. The other one is Best Buddy. Uh, even though it is 500, if you do finish that one, you're going to get a golden token. Uh, right now, a golden token would allow you to get the Soul Mule or uh, Vani, which would help you work on another uh Another title to get some other uh, achievement points. Uh, so the last one is Storm Rose. Uh, Storm Rose you could get with login badges as an alternative, but uh, I don't think people are going to want to give up the chance of three serendipity stones in order to get a mount that's only 100 mana crystals. Uh, Hereafter Herald is actually the second cheapest one to do, so it works out pretty well. Now you're going to see some of these are in red. Uh, the Thunder Dash is the honor mount, can't make it at the bench. Cloud Strike Panther comes from your guild prestige. Uh, Fuchsia Fin is a drop in 10-man Dehuda, but you can also make it at the Dehuda bench. It's going to be pretty pricey. It's uh, 35 chilled seafoam, and those are going from between 175 and 200 gold apiece. Uh, Pal Pals is all in red. These are not made at the bench. These are purchased around the world. I'm going to show you where those locations are in just one second. So let's drop in a game. Let's show you the bench. Let's show you a couple of other things. So we drop in a game. I'm going to show you the four for Pal Pals first. So uh, if you want to get those on the Harani side, you come down here to Parchison Settlement. Uh, there's where you're going to get the White Leomorph. And Falkorth Plains, uh, Cloud, Cloud Gain is the um, White Snow Lion. You come over here to the New Ian side. Gwenin Forest up here is going to be the White Elk. And then in the cradle, you're going to get the white boar. When you do that, you're going to get another reward. I'll talk about that right now. Really cool thing called the rider's trunk. It's for mounts. You'll notice that it stores up to 30 mounts. It is not sellable. It's not destructible. Uh, it's kind of cool. I got it filled up with all the mounts that are, I'm never going to use. So I have those in there. Now, one thing you should realize is you cannot pull from the trunk. If it's in the trunk, I cannot pull it down to my bar. I have to pull it out of the bag. So it's not really useful for having a bunch of extra mounts with you, but I don't need my submarine all the time. If I'm gonna jump down there, I can pull my sub out real quick, throw it into my bag, and then we're good to go. Uh, here is the pet accessory bench. Here are the Mana Storm, or Mana Storm Crystal Crafted Mounts. Now you'll notice, um, they are in all sorts of a random order, uh, which is okay. Uh, just make sure you scroll all the way down looking for the one you want. Now, you're going to find a previous guide to this that is out there that has some mistakes on it. It says, like, carrot wings is the amount required. It's actually carrot dash. Um, make sure that the chart I did, I totally revamped it, totally made sure it's right. Painstakingly, I might add. That took a while. Uh, for the rewards... Uh, like I said, the mount has a base speed of 16 meters per second unless they nerf it down to normalize it for North America. We may not see mounts get normalized anymore with uh, Tryon being out of the picture. That was really a Tryon thing. And Pal Pals is going to give it this rider's trunk. 
really kind of cool. Uh, title XP rewards. Divine titles are going to give you 69 XP. An epic gives you 86. A legendary should give you about 103 or more if this pattern follows suit. If you did all nine divine titles, that would give you 621. Plus a legendary at about 103. That would give you 724 total XP for title XP. That would pretty much knock out, uh, you know, almost an entire three to four level or even four to five. So if you are a title buff hunter, uh, drop back in the game real quick one more time. For those of you that missed it, why do you want your title XP? Why do you want your title level up? Well, because you get a base loot drop rate, XP gain, and health regen of health pots. It's just kind of helpful. Costs you absolutely nothing to work on. I did want to mention real quick, for those of you that are trying to blitz through this and you're like, why isn't it working? Um, if you come down here to Celestial Creature, you open this one up. Celestial Pegasus, Typhoon Drake, Frost Dragon. I don't have the achievement for the Typhoon Drake. Some of the older mounts aren't tripping the achievement. It's a known issue. It's probably an item ID requirement uh, needs to get changed. Remember, um, our Typhoon Drake is slower than the Korean version. Um, different item ID. They probably didn't put the North American item ID against the achievement. So uh, don't go replacing mounts until after the next patch. They'll probably hotfix it. And that is it, guys. I am trying to keep the video short on a single point. I don't want to talk about nine different title things in one video. This is just short, on task, on point. Uh, if you guys want to talk, join my Discord. Uh, send me a PM on Discord. Uh, I'm streaming on Wednesdays and Fridays again for Arcage. And then, as always, special thanks to my sponsors, Luna Chaos and Mori. Uh, their donations help me give away $10 gift cards. And uh, I'm... I'll do Steam gift cards for Arcage, but I am going to admit I am not going to give away Apex right now for Arcage. I am not 100% confident giving my credit card information to Gamigo. So I can give you a Steam card. You link your stuff through Steam. You can get your Apex via that way. Uh, but other than that, it's going to still be Amazon gift cards or uh, Steam cards. And that's it, guys. I got to put this in a post and I got to get to my stream. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey! Where are you going? You're not done yet. See these videos? This video's up here to watch. You gotta go over here. Hit the chibi. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the webpage. And I'll see you guys on Twitch.